Welcome to this lesson of Abacus. We're going to learn some more terminology from our past chapters and uh, we're going to go and do some uh, addition uh, till the number 10. Um, as you can see I have uh, set up the Abacus in a way wherein we're not going to be going through large sums uh, and also it's a little easier for you to view um, some of the basic uh, again of moving the beads um, as you can see here's the beam and we're gonna have this column the rightmost column as the units now when we move the beads up or down so here we have one and we move it up. Anytime we take a bead towards the beam, we call it up. So once again, up one would be, here we go. We have one, up two. So let's reset it back. Let's say we want two. So we say up two. Now let's reset it again. Let's say up four. So we move these four up. Um, again, as you can see, anytime a bead or the number of beads moved towards the beam, it's called up. Now let's reset it once again. In terms of five, the heavenly bead, so technically we're moving it down, but since we are moving it towards the beam we still call it up five now in terms of resetting it moving it away from the beam we would call it down five up four now when we are in this situation we're in we are representing four we say down two so we're gonna go down two now when we say down one we say down one and there we have one at this point we are only representing one so we say down one and we have nothing but zero so let's try that again we have up four. Let's, for instance, say down four. And we have down four. Up four. Down three. Down one. Up five. Uh, I'm not utilizing my thumb and my forefinger uh, as recommended uh, just for the sake of simplicity and for you to understand um, when you're practicing on moving these beads uh, it would be highly advised that you use the proper techniques of using your thumb and your forefinger um, up we already have up let's say down five up two down five and up two so as you understand um, some of the terminologies uh, up is anytime you move bead or beads closer towards the beam and down the word down is used anytime you move the bead or the beads away from the beams in this case down two down two let's assume up five and down five down five so let's go through some uh, practice 
um, move up 9 you can see 4 and 5 move up 9 move down 2 move down 2 and let's go ahead and clear the abacus um, what I have on this abacus is a reset button here that allows me to clear the abacus. You may have it or you may not have it. As you can see, if I have my abacus in this position, I can reset it using this reset button. Uh, if you don't have it, uh, the best way would be to just slide your fingers and uh, it will reset it for you. As you can see, it's not very simple. Uh, it is very simple, but it's not very easy and efficient. Uh, it would be advisable that you look for an abacus with a reset button. Uh, that will allow you to reset it uh, easily. So uh, continuing uh, with our exercise, uh, let's move up eight. Here we have eight. Let's move down three. And we move down three. And we clear the abacus. Let's move up seven. We have seven. Let's move down one. And we're gonna go ahead and clear the abacus once more. Move up five. Move up five. Move up four. Move up four. And we're gonna clear the abacus. Move up five. Five. Move up three. Move up three. Move down two. Move down two. And what we have here is six. Make sure when you're going through this exercise, you always um, uh, end up writing the end result. Uh, in this case, which is six. Um, the next one we're going to try is move up six. Here we go, we have six. Next is move down one. And here we go, move down one. Move up two. Move up two. What we have is a seven total. We're going to go ahead and clear the abacus. Uh, next is move up eight. 5 plus 3, 5 and 8. Move down 3. Move down 3. Move up 4. Move up 4. And what we have here is a 9. Let's go ahead and move up 9. Um, again, 5 and 4 gives you 9. So we have five and four, nine. Now go ahead and move down four. That would be bringing these down four. Move up one. We're going to move up one. What we are left with is six. Clear. Let's go ahead and do some additions. Let's start with the most simplest of addition, one plus one. So starting with one. One plus one. So we already had one plus one. So we're gonna add another one saying move up one. And here we have an answer, two. A representation of two. Next, let's say we want to do three plus five. So here we have up three plus five, which is up five, and we have representation as well as the answer eight. Next is 7 plus 2. 
So how do we represent seven? So we're gonna move up five and we're gonna move up two and we already have seven here. Seven plus two, plus two meaning up two. Here we go. And we have answer of nine. Let's try some more. Three plus one. Up three plus one. Four. Let's reset. Two plus six. Up two. Six would be up five and up one. Up five and up one. So two plus six. Eight. Reset. Five plus four. So we're going to have up five plus four, which is up four. We have an answer nine. Now let's say six plus three. Six, which would be up five and up one. Up five and up one. And we have six plus three. 